Hey guys, thanks for watching the new video. Um, you all know that my latest book, Customers the Day After Tomorrow, is about the impact that artificial intelligence has on customer experience. And uh, the second chapter of the book is actually t uh, titled From Mobile First to AI First. And I've been talking a lot about that in the last 12 months. But in the book, I created a new model to make it very concrete what AI could actually mean for customers and how the evolution of AI in the customer relationship will change. So I wanna guide you through those six steps. It's actually six steps where AI can add value. And the first one is the creation of content. Uh, and this already exists today, right? Uh, the best example of that is Facebook. Facebook decides what you see, not you. And they curate the content and they think that they know you so well. They don't think that, they know you so well that they know what you like to see. If you compare that with, for instance, the old way of Google search, search engine created in 1998, there you type in something and you get a whole bunch of links. Of course, Google is also curating it already through AI, but it's, it's less invisible than what it is at Facebook. And more and more of that AI stuff that I'm gonna be talking about is invisible technology. You don't see it, it just happens. We know that Facebook is curating it, but you don't always think about it. You don't see it anymore, it's just something that they do for us. That's the first step. The second one is that AI helps you to get you the exact right piece of information that you need at a specific moment. And this can be automated, like when they say on your phone, Stephen, you should leave for your next meeting. We looked at traffic and it's time to go. That's an example, but also the new interfaces like Google Home. If I ask now something to my Google Home and I ask them who's the king of Belgium, I don't get like a zillion links from that machine, I just get the answer and they're saying it's King Philip is the king of Belgium. So this is very targeted. And imagine what this could mean for governments, for instance. There, there's so many people who have questions about how to fill out their taxes or, or very yeah, specific questions. Imagine that you wouldn't have to go and search on those huge websites that governments have, but that you would just ask it to them and that you get the exact right answer that you need. That would be fantastic. And that's the second step, how AI can add value in the customer relation. Number three is recommendations. This is something that we have been seeing for the last 20 years online. You go to Amazon and they recommend another product as soon as you bought something. So this is the, the third step and this is something that we see in the day-to-day -day world. Uh, Booking.com is doing it, Amazon, Netflix, all those big technology companies are already on this field and it helps us as customers to make the right choice. The third one, the fourth one, sorry, is, is very important. It's prediction. And as you can see, I'm in San Francisco here while we're filming this video. And this week, someone shared a quote with us that I really, really liked. They said, we have to add predictions as a new dimension of reality. Basically, what is possible in the future is that almost everything that you do will have some predictive value at a certain moment. If you eat something, the machine can predict what will happen with your body shapes and stuff like that, or with your blood value. So prediction becomes really, really important. Um, Think about the, the, the possibilities again for companies. If you do something towards your customers, an action, a promotion, uh, launching a new product, and you can predict with a pretty high probability that it will be a success or a failure and how to twist that, that will be immense important for the future of your, your financials. Uh, let me give you this example. It's a Belgian company called Scriptbook, run by a fantastic young lady. And what they do is they get the script from a Hollywood video, film, or any other film, they get the script, they don't know which actor is going to play in it. They don't have any visual information. They just have the script. They run that script through their AI and they can predict with a pretty high probability on the success, how much money that film will make. So they can know upfront if something will be a total failure or a big hit. And that is extremely important in, in you know, their budget management for new films. The fifth dimension, how AI can add value in the customer relation is through automation. And, and we're going to see an evolution in automation itself. I mean, look at driverless cars. Today, you have very advanced cruise control systems like the autopilot of Tesla. Probably tomorrow, we'll be able to drive, you know, without our manual interference on the, on the big roads. And later on, maybe by 2025, 2030, a car can drive all by itself. So we're going to see that evolution. And automation is, is on the move. Think about chatbots. That is like an automated conversation between you as a customer and a company. Uh, let's be honest, today chatbots are not good yet. It's like a tree structure of communication and people feel that it's, you know, you know that it doesn't really work and that it's, it's some sort of a bot, but it's the first step of automation. Add five years to it and it could be a totally different experience. Maybe bots will have some sort of personality at that moment that it becomes more and more difficult to see the difference between a human and a machine and you get fully automated uh, conversations with, uh, with those AI bots. 
Um, but also think about ordering products. I mean, today, if you want to order with Amazon, it's pretty easy. You say, hey, Alexa, I need more coffee. But maybe in the future, when your coffee machine has a sensor and it knows that you're almost going to be out of coffee, it may order the coffee by itself automatically just to make sure that you are not out of coffee. So we're seeing this evolution in automation and it's going to be yeah, really interesting to see how, how fast it goes and how far automation goes thanks to AI and how it can help customers in making their lives easier. Last step um, is contextual analysis. Contextual analysis and AI is, is a dream world. This is not for today, not tomorrow. This is really day after tomorrow stuff because what happens in this world is that AI uses different data sources to make its recommendations and its automation and so on and so on. Let me give you a very simple example. Imagine that you um, like very happy music, fun music, summer music, because you're a very warm person and you're always in a good mood, so you want to hear happy tunes. So Spotify will always recommend music that is in line with what you like, because it knows your music preference. But imagine that someone close to you died at a certain moment. That is not the day that you want to go out dancing and have fun, and you're pretty sad. Well, that Spotify doesn't know that at this moment. Imagine that Spotify has access to other data sources, maybe your Facebook feed or other things, and that it knows that you are in a sad mood. It could recommend totally different products because it's taking into account the total context of you as an individual. But that's the last step. But you can already see how, how, how that could create a, a, a extremely personalized experiences that is really taking into account all aspects of your, uh, of your life. So, these are like the, the, the six possible steps. It's like a ladder, you know? It's, it's from stuff that we have today until things that are coming in the day after tomorrow. But you can clearly see how each of these steps can add value in the customer relationship. And that is how the AI first mindset should work, that you think about how can we create benefits and then you figure out where you need data, where you need that automation, where you need AI. All right? I hope that was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please share the video. That would be cool that people talk about the six steps so you can help me with that if you have feedback use the comments we'd love to hear your feedback and enjoy the rest of your day thanks for watching guys bye bye